it's the 21st day of March 2022. My name is William Sabwile, and this is Top TV's newspaper review. You're very much welcome. If you're just seeing this video for the first time, don't worry, you are in the right place. We'll bring you the headlines of the newspapers shortly. But before we do that, you need to first of all subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget to also click on the notification key that will help you get notified whenever we come online. Then we're also on other social media handles. We're on Facebook as uh, Tap TV. On Instagram is Tap TV underscore NG. And on Twitter is at Tap TV. Join me shortly after this break as I bring you the headlines. I'll be right back. Have you registered for your permanent voter's card? I mean, your PVC. There is a Nigeria we all seek. A place where love, peace, security, and unity can reign supreme. Waste no time. We want a country where peace and justice will be the order of the day. Unfortunately, there's a problem. One big challenge this generation has to solve. Our country cries for help every day. We need able and capable hands to lead and direct. These capable hands can be you. Have you gotten your PVC? Have you registered for the ongoing voting process? Don't say your vote does not count. Yes, it does. Have you gotten your PVC? Your apathy towards Nigeria's electionary process will further inhibit our collective growth and development as a nation. Your refusal to participate and engage will keep us at a standstill. So be intentional. I have my PVC. Your votes, your voice, would go a long way in preventing absolute destruction of this country and the future of our children, the hope of tomorrow. The 2023 Nigerian elections are just around the corner. Go out and get heard. Don't forget your vote, your voice. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. Welcome back. We'll begin the headlines from the Punch newspaper. And on the Punch newspaper today, being the 21st day of March 2022, uh, we take the headliner here. It says, APC Convention. Southwest governors reject Buhari's uh, allies as secretary, vice chair. I'll take that again. APC Convention. Southwest governors reject Buhari's allies as secretary, vice chair. External forces trying to impose presence on Southwest, says Akeredolu. Adamu Al-Makura, Musa divide National Assembly over chairmanship race. All of the stories you will find in page eight of uh, the Punch newspaper. All right, we'll go to the top part of that paper. We see federal government incurs fresh 950 billion naira domestic borrowing in first quarter of 2022. DMO speaking there. And then we also see the headline, uh, this headline at the top part of the Punch newspaper there. We see Malami Oke's seizure of Kiari accomplices property accounts and that's the reason page um, 42 of uh, the punch newspaper moving on we look at other headlines here we see genco's counter and bet over purchase agreements list 1.64 trillion naira debts all right that's the reason page 30 of the punch newspaper all right so do well to pick a copy of the punch newspaper that's where we find details of all of that headlines uh, for today, Monday, the 21st day of March. Moving on, we go to Nigeria News Direct. Nigeria News Direct. And from the top part of that paper, um, we see there, NCC backs Biasa Drive to boost digital infrastructure. NCC backs Biasa Drive to boost digital infrastructure. And the big headline on Nigerian News Direct, we see power outage. Federal government to restore electricity nationwide today. Uh, federal government to restore electricity nationwide today. Gas shortage responsible for power outage. Expert as syrup charges federal government to probe missing 11 trillion naira electricity fund. Oshun 2022, support me, you won't be disappointed. Oyetala tells electorate and then buhari condemns violence in southeast consoles or okay we move on to 
uh, other papers, and uh, that paper will be Nigerian Tribune for today, the 21st day of March 2022. And we see there, reps may seek judicial interpretation of electoral act judgment. Uh, other stories here, we see uh, police ban personnel from demanding customs papers, tinted permit. That story is on page seven of the Nigerian Tribune. And then we see as the big headline on Nigerian Tribune, we see PDP presidential ticket, governors, Atiku draw battle line, Saraki Tambawa Bala opt for consensus. Ex vice president declares Wednesday. Ex vice president declares Wednesday. Okay, other headlines on the Nigerian Tribune here it says APC convention, governors, senators split over chairman, youth leader. Southwest governors endorse Keke Meke or for vice chairman, national secretary. Momodu Sharif withdraws chairmanship race. Senators divided over Adamu Musa Almakura. Party in disarray in Gombe. Goje. All of that you find on page three of uh, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. All right, we move on to the Daily Times newspaper. We see here fuel crisis. APC kneeling on the necks of Nigerians. PDP says there's limits to what people can bear under an administration that is insensitive to their plights. And at the top part of that paper, we see Buhari condemns violence in Southeast. Consoles Obiozo says security situation under review. Okay, that's the much we can take on Daily Times newspaper. Moving on, we go to Daily Sun newspaper. And on Daily Sun, from the top part, we see police foil attack on Uzodimas community, kill four, recover bombs. Those responsible for raising Obiozo's house, enemy of Indigo, um, C O S E Y L speaking there. Um, and all of that story is on page 4 and 28 of the Daily Sun newspaper. Other stories here on the Daily Sun newspaper we see Northern PDP aspirants ready for consensus, says Sarah Key. And that story you'll find on 26 and 27 of the Daily Sun newspaper. Party has, has final say on zoning OB. Party has final say on zoning OB. All of that is coming uh, on the heels of um, the PDP convention. So pick up a copy of the Daily Sun to get details of that story. At the bottom part of the Daily Sun newspaper here, we see expect agitation, expect agitation worse than NSAS if PDP is speaking there. Uh, Nigeria situations getting to boiling point can trigger anything opposition party. So we need to get details of that and who's talking and what they're talking about. Please pick up a copy of Daily Sun newspaper and run to page 26 of that paper. That's where you find the details of that story. All right, so we go to uh, New Telegraph newspaper. And on New Telegraph newspaper, we'll start from the top there. Nigeria's debt rises by 26.29 trillion in six years. Uh, debt to GDP still within 40% limit. CBN, energy crisis, that is CBN earmarks 104 billion naira to stabilize electricity supply. Uh, CBN earmarks 104 billion naira to stabilize electricity supply. Lack of PPA's serious threat to Nigeria's power market, Gen Coast. Debunk claims of keeping country in darkness over 1.6 trillion naira debt. Buhari abdicated his duties, PDP. Police to officers. Don't demand custom papers from drivers. Say tinted uh, glass permit issuance remains suspended. Okay. Buhari condemns attacks on Obiozo's home, police assets, assault, desecration of Igbo uh, ethos. Uhua Bumwa speaking there. And that story is on page two and seven of the New Telegraph newspaper. Uh, and at the bottom part of that paper, we say, ask it to students. Join our struggle if you want strike suspended. Varsity done gives stranded Unima, Unimad students one millionaire for transport fare. Okay, so you need to get details of all of that story. Pick up a copy of the New Telegraph newspaper. That's where we get details. Next on the show is our discussion segment. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. 
Thank you very much for staying with us up to this time. We are back uh, on the show with our discussion segment, and I've been joined by Mr. Victor Sioko. Thank you very much for you, joining us once more. Thank you, He's sir. our regular commentator and, uh, and our, our political analyst here in TAP TV. All right, we go to the headlines. Let's analyze some of the headlines we've read out today. And uh, let's begin with Punch newspaper. And on Punch newspaper, let's see this headline about APC convention. They've been on the news for long. But we cannot take our eyes off them because uh, they are one, they are the ruling party. Uh, 2023 is just around the corner. And what they are doing now will tell us how 2023 will turn out. It shows clearly how 2023 will turn out uh, because the activities in PDP and APC, uh, these are the two biggest parties in Nigeria. And no doubt what they do now will reflect on the 2023 general election. So let's continue to talk about them and discuss them as much as they bring, uh, uh, they get on the news, that is. All right, let's start with this one today. It says, APC Convention, Southwest Governors Reject Buhari's Allies as Secretary, Vice Chair. And under that, we also see external forces trying to impose presence on uh, Southwest, says Akira Dolu. Uh, what's your reaction to this headline? Okay, um, we all know it's a, it's a, it's all about interest. Mm. The politics, just the general politics, is all about interest. Firstly, mm -hmm. about interest. Now, yeah. um, Buhari has his preferred candidate. Remember when uh, um, Erufai came on air to say there is someone there that Buhari wants to be APC chairman yeah. from the North Central, which is the zone, which is the area that it's been zoned to. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, over the weekend, we we're able to uh, get the information that. Uh, uh, Modu, Modu Sheriff, mm. the former governor of uh, Bonu State and former PDP chairman mm. who went to AP or who uh, to, mm. <laughs> to APC, yeah. he dropped his ambition to become a, um, the the chairman national the party, chairman of yeah. the party, stating the reason that because he wants to respect the choice of the party to zone the position to the North Central. So I asked, mm. where was he mm. when they first mentioned that? He has to be the North Central. You know, he's from North East, but he's, he's at the North Eastern part of uh, Nigeria. Yeah. Okay, that aside, as it stands, we have about uh, three persons mm. that are really strong in North Central that want this position. Mm. In as much as there is a, a very strong indication that the presidency has anointed, <laughs> he has anointed Adamu, Mm. Adamu is the former governor of uh, Nasarawa State. He was governor between 1999 to 2007. Mm. Then we have a second person, as in, well, I'm talking about in terms of predictions, what we have right now. Mm. Adamu seems to be favorite. Mm. Then we have Amakura. Amakura of same Nasarawa State. Mm -hmm. Amakura is from North Central, and he is the current senator of Nasarawa Central, mm -hmm. while, um, while Adamu is senator from the eastern of uh, the eastern side of uh, the east uh, senatorial zone of, uh, uh, of mm -hmm. Nasarawa State. Now, <laughs> the politics right now is that why we think that uh, Adamu is mm. the favorite is because last weekend mm. he unveiled <laughs> Mm. His um, his office, as in his uh, national um, uh, presidential office, um, mm. campaign office, yeah. just last weekend. And the people that we are present there, when I got the names of the persons present during that function, mm. I knew that he is really the man of the party, as in man of the people mm. in the party, the strong guys in the party. Mm. The chief whip of the national of the National Assembly, Oju Zokalo, was present there mm. and he was very vibrant. Mm. The deputy Senate president, mm. Omo Agege, mm. you know how strong that man is from mm. Delta State. Mm. He was present there with some other top APC um, lords. Mm. I have to call them lords. So, but we are still having, we are still having some, would I say, anti- um, uh, Buni, sorry, anti uh, Buhari's uh, aspirants that mm. are forcing their way in, yeah. looking for the slightest loophole. In as much as yes, they've come 
Um, Buhari has come through some um, persons in the party to say, see, let's leave this for consensus to agree on this. But yeah. they say, no, mm -hmm. we must go down to, it must go down to the wire on Saturday. So a whole lot of things will happen from now till Saturday. Mm -hmm. Already, there is a lot of implosions happening by the zonings. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are supposed to have settled the zoning part of um, the, in terms of, when I mean zoning, in terms of the other smaller positions. I okay. call them smaller positions, yeah. although they are big. Mm -hmm. So those smaller positions, they were supposed to have settled them by their zones. Yeah. But up till now, it has not been settled. So everything on Saturday, we have both the, the, the smaller positions they were supposed to have, they have, should have settled by now. Mm -hmm. Everything will happen on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The plan was just on Saturday, let's do the proper election for the presidential the, the, the deputy and yeah. the and the sorry um the chairmanship the deputy chairmanship and the, the national secretary the yeah. already for the national secretary there is a big there is a big, yeah there's a, <laughs> a big, big issue, issue there, yeah. because um uh, Akere Lodu yeah. of uh, Ondo State yeah. Governor Akere Lodu of Ondo State has mm. said that Kemeke is the preferred candidate mm. another wing is saying is Omo, Omo Shore, the former gov um, deputy governor of uh, Oshun State yeah. remember that uh, Arebe Shola is having issue with uh, Tinubu. Tinubu wants um, uh, Omo Shore. Um, uh, this, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Arebo Shola is again. So mm. there is a whole lot of interest, mm. a whole lot of interest and, in and APC the house, right now. The, the APC house is really in turmoil at the moment. Yes. And uh, it's, uh, what, what, what should we say uh, PDP is any different? Mm -hmm. uh, because they are also having some internal rubbles in terms of um, getting a consensus on the presidential uh, and candidacy. Mm -hmm. And we also saw that in uh, one of the news um, headlines today, uh, that's on the Nigerian Tribune, where we see PDP presidential ticket, governors, a ticket draw battle line, Jackie, Tambowa, Bala opt for consensus. So w what's your, um, uh, how do you react to the story? Okay, um, even uh, just uh, on Friday, mm -hmm. They were like, you know, there is a group now. Okay, there is a group against the core BOT members. The likes like that are against the likes of uh, Bode George. Mm. Bode George came out on national air to say, don't mind these persons that are saying that uh, zoning does not work in PDP. Mm. That they should go back to history. Mm. That PDP are the ones that instituted zoning because of the, the you, zoning is is not an anti-democratic mm. because it helps to unify everybody yeah it settles every yes yeah, zone this area. is your time yeah. take your time this is your time that, so he was saying that is does he mean that are they not saying as in the article um cartel are they not saying that we do not have anybody in the southern part of nigeria that mm. is capable and mm. has the capacity to to um, to be the president of this country because Atiku is there saying that see there's nothing like zoning that everybody should come to the to the floor and battle it out okay. um saraki met with tambua mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, bala muhammad bala muhammad being the um, uh, former governor of para state tambua yeah. current governor of uh, sokoto yeah. while uh, um, uh, saraki former um, um, senior president and um, former governor of Kwara State, mm -hmm. they all sat together the, um, last weekend to say, okay, please let's go the way of consensus. Mm. That they were going to speak. Remember, they are from the north. That they were going to meet with Atiku, mm -hmm. which we already know that uh, Atiku on Wednesday, he will be unveiling officially. Yeah, that's uh, so, running for the seat of the president. Yeah, so they have said that uh, they will have to meet him in time so that they can have a meeting and find a um, uh, uh, um, a collective or uh, let them find a collective ground mm. with respect to this zoning. Yeah. And mind you, May is just by the corner. It is. May 28th yeah. is the pre presidential primary for the PDP. And they need to put their house in order yeah. if they really want to take back the seat. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. So I think going forward, by next month, I just give us for the next two to three weeks, yeah. we'll see many persons coming out to declare. We are still waiting for 
Remember, yes, it's there true. is a, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Even in the, in the APC wing, we've not heard from, um, I, I would call just two persons, um, former governor of River State. Not to me, Amechi. Amechi. Mm. And the CBN governor. I mean, Philly. Then we also have heavy rumors that the vice president may also exactly. declare, and exactly. he has not openly come out to exactly. say, "Oh, I am I'm refuting this these rumors or whatever," and saying that I'm not going to run. So all of this could play out, you know, before the convention date or in in a very short while. Okay, moving on from these stories, let's go to a warning given to the present government by the PDP when they say expect agitation worse than NSAS. If, and then the, under that, we also see Nigeria's situation getting to a boiling point can trigger anything. Opposition party, that is the PDP, warning the federal government here that they should do something about the state of the nation yes. and that it's at a boiling point. And I totally agree with them. What's your reaction to this? Okay, um, let me start with uh, the insecurity part of the news. Mm. Um, just on Saturday, we got the news that Zanfara has new 700,000 uh, persons that have been displaced as IDPs. Yeah. Come to Imo State. There was just um, uh, um, an explosion happened yeah. at the house of the president of Hannes in Yeah. And the police station was set on fire and the policeman was killed. Mm. It's just about the weekend, the one that we just heard. What about the economic side of the whole tale? Mm. We are still having power issues. Serious ones, yeah. Remember that banks last week said that. Mm. Headquarters yes. should close, should shut down their switch once it's five o'clock because of the cost of diesel. diesel. Manufacturer Association of Nigeria, they are crying out loud, see, the next phase of inflation that will happen to this country will mm. shake everybody. Bread manufacturers mm. have come out also to say we're increasing the, bri the, the price That's of good, bread. Yeah. My brother everything is the cost of yeah. every commodity in this country is skyrocketing yeah people are not happy students are at home threatening so, to go threatening to on a protest go on a protest that will be worse than worse than answers yeah. mm. so my brother a whole lot of there is a whole lot of uh, um, uh, um will i say fear yeah. of aggression that is building up mm, it's true yeah and truly, the federal government needs to act fast and begin to, you know, address most of these issues that are really troubling us, starting from the scarcity of fuel. They should start from there and, of course, the power issue and then move on to resolving other strong issues. And, sorry, sir, yeah. the police, mind you, they're mm -hmm. on their own side, mm -hmm. agitating. That's the, the increment that they say that they will do for them. Mm -hmm. the, the increment in their salaries have not been implemented, this that they won't want to down tools. So if all these things start, if the protest starts now, mm. Mm. how oh, will this nation, it's true. how will they handle the situation mm. when the police already, they are angry? Hmm. And then talking about power, you know, this crisis about power that we recently experienced, uh, we also see CBN coming out to say that they have donated uh, 104 billion naira to stabilize electricity supply and that the um, federal government, according to them, that, you know, the issue of uh, lack of power that we experienced within the past uh, few weeks as, was as a result of shortage in gas supply. Uh, what, what's your uh, reaction to that? To be very fair with you, I don't even really understand our CBN anymore. Mm. Why am I saying this? Because you find out that when uh, an issue has gone from bad to worse, mm. They now, start, they now come out to be like uh, they are the saviors. Uh, they are trying to mm -hmm. save the, the, the situation. When we already have, we have a budget. Okay? Now you ask, these monies that they are releasing, mm. how, how, how is it, are they borrowing more from their own side? Mm. Are you getting me? Mm. And also, I'm, I'm also wondering, you know, this is my own thoughts. Mm. Why? Are they also picking Governor Emefele? Why is the, his posters are everywhere? So um, I, he might not have the interest to be the president of this country. But I'm so wondering, 
Why? Would they be even fronting him? I think he's suspicious from my own mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the way CBN is moving about all the whole... When there is an issue... They intervene. They will, inter they will come out mm -hmm. to say that uh, they are doing this part to... When there is a crisis, they say, okay, uh, um, the crisis in the Northeast, they say, okay, we are doing this part. To, we are... <sighs> that, that, that's not how the CBN operates yes. before now. So why is it that it is now operating a different way in this government? Yes. Uh, the, the, their body language says a lot. It's, it's beginning to sound really suspicious or look suspicious. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Victor. That's the much we'll be taking today. Thank you for always showing up every time. And to our viewers, we really, really are grateful for you staying tuned up to this moment. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles and, of course, subscribe to this channel. Till next time I come your way again, my name is William Sabuli.